Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the previous video, we've got the band back together, we made some frogs sing for us, it was pretty fun. In today's video, we're going to be getting two masks. One will be incredibly useful and is required for story progress, and the other one is probably the dumbest mask in the game. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Now one prerequisite before we get to, um, get to masking is we actually need, um, we need, get, get out of here. We need a hundred, not a hundred, ten rupees. We need ten rupees. So I am, I don't actually know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go through the grass and find a hundred rupees. Ten rupees, jeez. I'm a little tired again, can you tell? Although honestly, classes have been like somewhat easy. There's our ten. So I'm not too, too concerned. Um, what we need to do is head to the Milk Road area of the game. And we're going to be visiting an area we have not actually been to before. So here we go. Let's call Epona. That is not a Pona song. Holy lord. <laughs> That's a song of healing. Whoops. Okay. Uh, yeah, that did nothing. What is a Pona song? There it is. Different notes. I don't even know how I got that song out of whatever. Anyway, yes, we're going to be calling Epona because what we're going to be doing actually is a little bit of a race. So here we go. Saddle up our good friend Epona, and we're going to be heading over here to the left instead of to um, Romani Ranch. We're going to go over here, which is to the Gorman Racetrack, is what that sign would say if I were to read it. Here we go, the Gorman Racetrack. Or just the Gorman Track, yes, not necessarily for racing. Here we go, they have a little uh, barbecue going on of some kind. They're, they're farmhands, you know? They're also the evil people who tried to break the uh, milk bottles. No, don't go faster, Pona. Let's speak to these gentlemen. Is that pathetic thing your horse? I would have guessed that little thing was a mule for sure. Ain't that right, little brother? Do you think that horse, that pathetic, would run out if you pushed the control stick forward? Or would it run faster if you pressed A? This guy's funny. Why don't you give us 10 rupees for a chance to race against us? If you win, we'll give you something nice, kid. We're gonna race them. It's a simple race. Just go once around the track. If you can beat us to the finish line, you win. Yeah, yeah, you ready? Here we go. We've raced many times. I don't think we've ever raced with Epona, though. So here we go. As you can see, they make the same noise as, um, as the dudes who were attacking the milk bottles in that adventure. So the key here is stay on the inside if you can, and don't use all of your carrots. If you use all your carrots, which are like your boosters, um, then it takes a very long time to regenerate them all at once instead of in these small little bursts. So you definitely want to make sure that you keep your carrots um, open, and you also want to avoid jumping if possible. Jumping slows you down significantly. I actually don't know why I'm losing this race. Let's go ahead and just let's jump this one. All right, there we go. Okay. When you get here to the very end, these dirt paths are jumpable. So you obviously uh, want to try and avoid them. As you sort of round this corner though, you can see the finish line, so you really want to try and keep all of your carrots here until the very end. And then you can just go ahead and use them all to try and beat them at the last ditch. It looks like I claimed second place, which is basically losing, so I'm gonna need 10 rupees again and trying one more time. Yeah, yeah, we win! If you'd like, we'll let you race again. Well, you do, we're gonna race, and they're gonna kick us out because we don't have money. Hey, but well, we added them to our list. Okay, let's get some money and then race these clowns again for realsies. So this will be fun. Score! There was a there was a lot of money outside. I need to call Epona again. There was actually uh, 20 rupees in the bushes outside, not the little short stalks of grass, but in the big grass bushes. There was 20 rupees, and then also like eight more additional ones. Where did you come from? You were not sitting there. All right, let's race these guys one more time. And try and do a better job of staying in that, uh, the, you know, the ready spot. There we go. Okay, let's stay on the good inside path. Um, and, and try and get maybe a little more of an early lead. I think, if anything, I was a little too uh, conservative with my carrots. I definitely don't want to use them all, though. I know that. And I think using them all in a quick burst like I just did is not actually the best idea. You want to just use them every now and again. Try and keep them as high as, as you can, as far as maxing them out goes. Yeah, see, can I squeeze through here? There we go, that's a very good inside path to take. Use another carrot, and I'll wait to regen now to five. Still gonna do my best to, um, avoid that, uh, 
middle track, or that, sorry, not the middle track, the jumps. Do not want to be doing jumps at all. Okay, and as you can see here, cutting these corners as close as I can without having to jump. Having to jump is no good. Oh, okay. That was actually a little bit of a weird angle. See, so Epona is not, like, the fastest horse, but by no means is she slow. Except she's slow if you run through that mud. Um, so see, like, here I think I actually just lost the race again by a long shot. That was terrible. Alright, that looks like a win. That was kind of a difficult game, I'm not gonna lie. If I had to give you guys a strategy, since that was kind of a no commentary run, uh, mind your own business. Don't listen to what the Gorman Bros do, just have your own race, and then that'll get let you pull through in the end. If you hit a wall or them, it slows you down, so you just gotta kinda run your own program. I can't believe we lost! Big bro, I wonder if we can give that to this guy. We gotta give him something. Well, he's a kid, so what can he do with it? It should be fine. And we get the Garrow's Mask, the wandering ninja spirit who appeared at Kana once wore this. In exchange, you can't tell anyone where you got this. We rubbed the Gorman Brothers' noses in it, and this was added to our notebook. Awesome! So yeah, that is the useful mask that we need to progress the game. I was actually kind of talking about this, I think, last video. Maybe it was the video before. Um, but that is a game, uh, a mask we need to beat the game. There's only six of them that you need, and it is the three transformation masks, and three other masks that we have one of those three masks that we actually need to beat the game so that's super cool uh now we're going to get the useless mask and when i mean useless i mean 100 percent i will never equip this mask besides to tell you guys what it looks like and that is actually in the milk bar so we need to run through uh clock town and enter the milk bar so i'll catch you guys when i'm ready to go inside of the milk bar all right, it is now 10 p.m. We have passed a full 12 hours, and uh, we can head in to the milk bar. I'm going to... Actually, that's not what we need to get into the milk bar. We need the milk Romani mask. And I'm also going to equip the deco mask for no particular reason. Uh, wink, wink. All right, so the milk bar is over here. And as I said, today we're getting one useful mask, which was the Garo's mask. And we're getting one completely, utterly terrible mask I'm never going to touch in my life. And that's the one we're about to get right now. Uh, you are a member. Please, come in. Cool. So, in the milk bar, we can, uh, come down here and, uh, talk to this guy. We were scheduled to do a show, but it got cancelled. This place has a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to do a sound check, though. I just wanted to see what it would have been like. Hey, you! Could you help me with the performance? We can! Alright, so here we are on stage. Okay, you played the ocarina, right? Go stand in the center spotlight. This is us right here. Okay, play your ocarina like this. There we go. It's a very simple rhythm game. I don't know, it's kind of like Simon says. You just follow what he says. And then you'll hear a little rendition of the song. Okay, that's, that's some decent ocarina music. Okay, that feels good. What feels good? Not a wretched, senseless racket. Gorman, the leader of the traveling troop, was added to our notebook. And Toto, the band manager, was also added to the notebook. Alright, so, Toto, uh, per yes, the guy who wrote the song Africa, he needs us to help him. So what if we got another performer, Toto? Could you help me with my performance? We can. Because we are now Deku, we play a different instrument, we play the pipes, we can stand in front of the front left spotlight right here. And we play the pipes as he asks, that's not how you play the pipes, like he asks. 
There we go, and you get to hear it together. So we'll hear just the pipes, and then we'll add in the ocarina as well. And that feels good still. Eh, what well, feels good? That wretched senseless racket. I think he says that every time. All right, so uh, fair warning. I think this song sounds absolutely awful. <laughs> We're making a song and uh, I do not think it sounds good one bit. Now we get to go on as Goron Link and we get our spotlight for our drums. The rear left is this blue one right here. And we can drum to the beat. There we go. All right, I'm trying not to talk during the performances just because I want you guys to be able to experience the song too. I think my, my least favorite part is the pipes. I think the pipes absolutely ruin it. Uh, they're just an atrocious instrument. They're just, they're so bad. All right, spotlight on the right for the guitar. And uh, now we can play the guitar as he instructs. Okay, maybe it's not bad. Okay, it was decent. I regret what I said. Bravo, that was the best! That melody. That melody. It brings back so many memories. It's their old standby, Ballad of the Windfish. That's the song that members of the, their generation, the previous generation of the Indiegogos made famous. I entered show business because I heard this song at the Carnival of Time long ago. My performances, I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singers of that song. The one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current singer, who is also named Lulu. Weird. <laughs> so her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. I'm sorry I booed you. Please, take my mask. By mask, he means face. We got the circus leader mask. This mask looks so sad, it could put a tear in even a demon's eye. We saw the tears of the circus leader Gorman that was added to the notebook. All right, yeah, that's it. So this mask, Gorman's mask, is absolutely pointless. Uh, it cries. You put it on and you see it, it's, it's crying. So the only thing this mask does is, is if you were to redo the escort mission with the bottles of milk, with Kremia, you know, we have to fight the aliens again and then do the, the escort mission with the milk, then the Gorman brothers will not attack you. They they decide that you are a friendly folk. I don't know, it's heavily implied that the Gorman brothers are actually Gorman triplets, and uh, one of them left the farm to go into show business, which left the other two, you know, kind of a weird spot in that relationship, so whenever you wear their mask, they get sad, and they won't actually attack you. Now I'm switching over to the Dawn of the Second Day just real quick here so I can show you guys the, uh, the dialogue you get if you were to present um, present this mask to those gentlemen. So I'm not heading out to Akana Canyon just yet. I do uh, want to see just what goes on and showcase if you wear the mask and talk to them. Like I said, this is literally the only other time I'm going to ever talk or use or anything with this mask. Uh, it's absolutely pointless. Really, just a terrible mask. I, in the uh, 3DS version, that mask lets you get a seventh bottle, which is, is cool, but really seven bottles? How many do you need? Like, that's kind of excessive. All right, here we are. So we're gonna put on the mask and see their response. So as you can see, without the mask, they're nice and grumpy, and with the mask, they get very sad. Oh, that mask. That's our middle brother's big bro. So, he's gone to the world of entertainment. That younger brother of mine is really struggling. Compare what he does to what we do. No, no, no! And the things that we, the Gorman brothers, have done. Urgh, we're the notorious Gorman brothers! We can't get all sappy over stuff like this! I'm sorry, but take that mask off. I can't get anything done when you gaze at me with that mask off. And then he just won't say anything. It's no use. When you look at me with that thing on, I can't talk to you like that. And, uh, you know, same stuff. So, honestly, it's... 
I, oh, it's just, he says, take that mask off. I can't speak to when you look at me with that mask in your face. Same thing-ish. Um, it's honestly kind of sad. I know these guys are the bad guys, but like, literally showing up with their long lost brother's face on, that's so brutal. <laughs> I could never. Uh, anyway, that's going to be all for now. So I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me. You guys my videos around. In the next episode, we're going to head off to Akana Canyon, and it's going to be pretty great. <laughs> it's like I'm stealing his face. Uh, we're going to head off to Akana Canyon and begin making some progress there with the uh, storyline of the game. So I'll catch you guys all back here next time. Until then, as always, take care.